Chief Rabbi and Dianim of the London Bet Din, Prime Minister, Her Excellency Ambassador Hotovelli, Rabbonim, Brevetsons, Trustees of the United Synagogue, and honored guests all. My name is Joe Gross, Chief Executive of the United Synagogue, and it is my solemn duty to welcome you to this evening of tefillah in solidarity with the people of Israel. Thank you to everyone who has helped to put this evening together at short notice, and especially to CST for keeping us safe. We are all devastated at the events in our beloved Israel. Along with the rest of the Jewish world, we are in shock. Many of us here in this shul and in homes all around the country have friends and family who are deeply impacted and our thoughts are with them now as they have been over the last few days. As our president Michael Goldstein said last night, The amount of life lost is impossible to comprehend. The pain of the grieving families is impossible to bear. And the sleepless nights, the unimaginable stress of so many who don't know where their loved ones are is impossible to fathom. Tonight, we both show support and we draw support from each other. We reflect on the tragic events on the hundreds who have been murdered in cold blood and all those taken hostage, and we send our prayers to the highest levels of Shamayim so that in the words of our Achenu prayer, Hashem will have compassion on them and lead them from distress to relief, from darkness to light, and from oppression to freedom, now, swiftly, and soon. Someone once approached the famous 19th century rabbi, Naftali Tzvi Yehuda Berlin, the Nitziv, with the following question. Every year at the Seder on Pesach, Jewish children ask their father, ask their parents, Manishtana, why is this night different from all other nights? But Pesach is not the only time Jews perform unusual commandments. On Sukkot, the Jews move out of their comfortable homes and dwell outdoors in a hut. Shouldn't this cause a child to ask Manish Tana on Sukkot as well? The Nitziv smiled and responded, saying, The observances on Pesach are truly different. A child sees actions that are not in accordance with Jewish life. The entire family sits reclining together at the table with tranquility and performing actions of truly free people. All actions are performed deliberately and with precision and order. This causes a child to wonder what's going on. How is it possible that Jews can live with order, peace and tranquility? However, on Sukkot, the child sees the family leaving their home, taking shelter in the sukkah. For a Jewish child, this is not a strange sight. He knows that the Jews have been forced to constantly wander in exile. He knows that the Jews have never considered their house their permanent home because they may have to move in a single moment in order to flee persecution. He knows that our peaceful existence is fragile. For the child, leaving the home is not a strange sight, and it's for this reason that a child does not ask Manishtana on Sukkot. Please, God, we will all know a world soon where Jews and all nations can live with order, peace, and tranquility. We're shortly about to begin our service. May I ask you now uh, to remind you to uh, ensure that your phones are on silent. In a moment, I will invite Rabbi Mordechai Ginsbury to lead us in Mariv, which can be found on page 202 in the green and blue Siddurim. But before we do so, I am honored to invite Her Excellency Ambassador Hotovelli to light a memorial candle as we mourn all those murdered.
Hamasai. Ada no Yoshi or Hamelech Yanenu Vim Karenu Baruch as Ada no Hamavirach Baruch Ada no Hamavirach, the Elam Voed Baruch Atos and Himel of Hilam. Eil chai v'kayom tzomidim lo yicholeinu liyolom v'oed Baruch ato adoi noi hama'ariv aravim Havasa ilom beisisom v'avisim v'etzis k'nivotim Az yom atzolkin az v'hinu V'shakvim k'min v'zeyat k'nkev V'nismav d'vizor v'sof v'nizof v'nivred Ki heim chayeinu v'yerech yomeinu V'hennege imom v'loi lo V'avo sucho al tosim imenu liyolomim Baruch ato adoi noi I have Amoy Israel, Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echod. If you have to eat something, I hope you have a good one. 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 Oh, you're in Shemir Tishmir, and it's like a share of the human space in him. The other voice has a vehicle of the local 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 Adoi noi eleheichem emes. Ve'am on the course of Hamadim, and he was on the English, and he was on the Christian, 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 ומלכוסי ורוצים קיבלו עליהם מיישב בני ישראל לכונו שירה בשמחה רבה ויאמרו כולם מקומי חבוי למדוי נוי מקומי חונדו בקידש נרוסי לסיס ולה מלכוס זכור ובנחו בואי כהיום לפני מיישה זה עליונו ויאמרו אדוני ימלך לאלון בועד ונאמר כי פודו אדוני יש יעקב וגולם יד חוזר ממנו ברוך אתו אדוני נוי גועל ישראל השכיבנו אדוני ועושים יולינו יבדו לכם רוב יבין ועושה שצורות המלכנים יחוי נוצר כנתך את עצמנו כשם יום זמנות וכי יום יחד מלכם אותו ושמר צייסינו ואין לחיים ולשלום מי הטוב יד אילום ברוך אתו אדוני נוי שמר עמו ישראל לא עד ברוך אתו נוי אלום יבין ברוך אתו נוי אלום יבין ברוך אתו נוי אלום 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 ברוך אתו ויהיו לנו מלכה קרס פעמים, 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 ויהיו לנו מלכה קרס ברוך אדם יבין ובגלל שכל נפש שלך מייסים שם ואין שכל חי ולא חוב זה שביל אחד גידו אחי בדין סי סי אז מייס אל הן שבא שם יחיד שם חד וכמה מוכרס ואין שם מלך עומד ירו עינינו וישמח ליבנו וזכו נפשי משהו עסקו במייס פעמים יוצאים לחברי חזר מלך חזר מלך חזר מלך עומד כי המלכוס של אחוהי הוא ליום יד תמלך בכבוד כי אין לנו מלך אלו ארצו ברוך אתו אדוני נוי המלך בכבודו איתו מידים לא יכולנו ללום ועד ועל כל מעשיו 
Yiskadal, Yiskadash, Shemei Rabba. Be'al no divroch, Yerusei, V'yamlich Malchusei. B'chai Yechonu, V'yamlich Yechonu, V'chai Dechol Beis Yisrael. B'agol of his man, Korev Yimru, Amen. Yishmei Rabba, Mabarach, Le'olam, 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 Yisparach, Yishtabach, Yisfuav, Yisrumam, Yisnasev, Yisadav, Yisadav, Yisadal, Shemei Dekudosh, Oberichu. Le'elom in kol berchoso v'shir oso, tush b'choso v'nechem oso. Di'ami rom b'yol mo v'yimru omei. Yiskadal v'yiskadash, Shemei Rabba, Be'ol mo divroch, Yerusei v'yamlich malchusei, B'chai yichun uv'yam yichun v'chai d'chob Yisrael, B'agol ov izman korev yimru, Amen, Yeish m'rubam barach, L'olam lo me'ol ma'yo, Yisparach, Yishabach, Yispoav, Yisrumam, Yisnasei, Yisadav, Yisalev, Yisalal, Shemei d'kudosh o'berichu, L'eilo min kol b'rchoso v'shiro sotush b'rchoso v'nechem osod, Amiron b'yom ov imru, Amen, Tis kabal, tzolei soi nevosim d'chol Yisrael, kodem avon di vishmai, yov imru, amein. Yehei shalom rabu min shumai, v'chaim aleinu, v'chol Yisrael, v'imru, amein. Ay, 
יעשה שלום עם רימוף, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עלינו לשבח ואדוני נקוי לעשות כתוב לי יוסי ברשי שלא עושים את זה. אנחנו נשמע את זה. אנחנו כן רואים בכל מיני שהם ישתכנו ואנחנו נשמע את זה. אנחנו נשמע את זה. אנחנו נשמע את זה. ולהינו הינו הינו סמוקים הרס וזוכר סוסופי חוסים ואשר סביר חוקי אז אינו שומע על ראש תקנות על כן נקרא ולכו אז אינו הינו סמאי לא בזבזך על הר גלומים ואז אינו כל סיכוי זה סוף מלך ושי חוב נבוא סוי קרא כל אף נוסף ושוי זה יקרא ואינו כל יום שיוסף וכי נכון תכרעה כבר אפשר לשון לפניך או אדוני אלוהינו יכרו ויפוי לריך ולשם כל יגוזים גם לכו נוסף וכסף 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 יזכדל ויזכדל ששמי רבו ביומו דברוך ירוסי וימליך מלכוסי וחי יכונו וימי יכונו וחי דכל בייס ישראל בגו לא בזמן קורי ואמרו אמן לעולם ולא מעל מיו יזברך וישתבח ויספועה ויסומם ויסנשא ויסעדה ויסעלה ויסעלה על שמי דקודשו וריחו לאלו מן כל ברכוסו ושירוסו, תוש ברכוסו ונחמוסו, תאמירום ביומו ואמרו אמן. יהי שלום רבו מן שמי, ובחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עשה שלום עם רימוף, ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. דיינים שליטה, רבנים שליטה, רביצנס, פריים מיניסטר, הר אקסלנסי, דה ישראלי אמבסדר, פרזידנט אוף דה יונייטד סינגוג, צ'רמן אוף דה ג'ויש לידרשיפ קאונסל, דפיוטי פרזידנט אוף דה בורד אוף דפיוטיס, רפרזנטטיבס אוף אול מייג'ר פוליטיקל פארטיס, דיסטינגווישט גסט טו נומרוס טו מנשן, ליידיס אנד ג'נטלמן. Tamar Kedem, living on kibbutz near Oz in Israel, was in touch with friends in Australia. She texted the message, Hi guys, we're doing okay. We're in a safe room in our house. One hour later, Tamar wasn't answering any calls. Nobody could in, get in touch with her. And that is because Tamar, her husband Yonatan, the very young daughters Shachar and Arbel, and their son Omer, had all been mercilessly and brutally murdered by terrorists. This is one of numerous instances of heinous crimes which have been perpetrated during the past few days. And here in the UK, we recall the life of Nathaniel Young, Zichrono Livracha Hashem Yikom Damo, who was killed. We're deeply concerned about Jake Marlow, who is missing, both of them graduates of JFS. Together with so many others, you know, when we are getting in touch with family and friends, All of us, the first question is, how are you? How's family? How is everything? And that's because hardly a single Jewish family in the UK doesn't have a direct connection to Israel at this time. This evening in our service, we'll be drawing inspiration from the book of Psalms. We'll be chanting this verse from Psalm 122. It's a call to Zion. The issue to this evening 
We have brethren in Israel, parents, siblings, children, nieces, nephews. We have friends there. Israel is the very heart of not just the Jewish people, but the Jewish faith. And we send out a strong message to Achai our brethren and our friends in Israel this evening. You are not alone. We share your pain. We are crying with you. We share your anguish. We share your fate and your destiny, and we will always stand shoulder to shoulder with you in your time of stress. It has been so encouraging and so heartwarming for us to have received so many messages of support and solidarity. And having emerged from the two-day festival of Shmini Atzeret and Simchat Torah last night, I've just been flooded with so many messages from so many treasured friends, faith leaders, political leaders. And that is because no civilized person can be unmoved. No civilized person cannot be deeply shocked having seen the sights that have unfolded during the past few days. <coughs> Prime Minister, thank you for your messages of support. To have seen 10 Downing Street lit up last night in the Israeli flag sends such an extraordinary message, not just to us, not just to Israel, throughout the Jewish world, throughout the decent world. We thank Sir Keir Starmer, leader of Her Majesty's official opposition, for his statements of support and solidarity for our community, for Israel. We thank leaders of other parties, together with so many. But Prime Minister, you know, this event was put together in such a short space of time. And we issued the invitation. And you responded saying, you want to attend. And you turned your diary upside down in order to be here. Not just to be here, but also shortly to have the opportunity to address us. A good friend is not just somebody who's with you when you celebrate. A good friend is also somebody who's with you when you're in sorrow. And the best of friends is somebody who's with you when you are in sorrow and others are questioning you. Because good friends are able to differentiate between the forces of darkness and the forces of light. Between true and false. Between right and wrong. And Prime Minister, you are a great and wonderful friend of our Jewish community and of the state of Israel. No words can adequately encapsulate our feelings of being so grateful to you for being with us right now. We know you and your government, and with some exceptions, yes, there are some exceptions, but you and your government and the British people are solidly behind that which is right and false go against that which is wrong. In our Psalms, in Psalm 128, we will declare, Ure'ei vanime levanecha, shalom al Yisrael. God, may you bless us to see our children's children. May there be peace upon Israel. What's the connection between being able to see your children and your grandchildren and peace upon Israel? The connection is that it is possible that in the absence of peace, lives will be taken, people will be murdered. And parents might not see their children. Grandparents might not see their grandchildren. Maybe they'll die be murdered. Maybe even the grandchildren will be killed. Shalom al Israel. But peace upon Israel is the natural yearning and prayer of every Jewish soul. And that is why in Psalm 120, we declare, Ani shalom v'chi adaber, 
Hema la milchama. I am peace. But when I speak about peace, all they want is war. And that, I believe, encapsulates what we are enduring right now. Ani Shalom, it's not just I am for peace, but Ani Shalom, I am peace. We, the Jewish people, are synonymous with peace. That's what we yearn for. That's what we want. That's what we pray for. Peace comes at the heart of every single synagogue service and ceremony. However, Hema la Milchama, sadly and tragically, you can't deny it. That's all our enemy right now is interested in. Milchama, war. Hema la Milchama. You know, Israel is aiming to kill murderers. Hamas is aiming to kill innocent men, women, and children. Every civilian in Israel right now is on the front line of this war. And Israel has a responsibility to defend herself, the prime responsibility to make the country secure. And our foes are terrorists. Let no one question that. Let no one ignore the fact they are seeking to brutally murder innocent civilians. And when innocent Palestinian civilians die or are killed, that was not the intention. And of course, our hearts go out to all those who suffer the loss of innocence. Israel must continue to do whatever it can for the sake of her citizens. In Parshat Pinchas, we read about a plague of death amongst the Jewish people. And in Numbers chapter 26, God gives a commandment through Moses to the people, count the number of the people of Israel. And there are two conflicting midrashim. What was the purpose of the census? One midrash says, it's like a shepherd who had a deer flock. And then wolves came and attacked the sheep. And after some were killed, the shepherd counted his flock in order to know how many were missing. The other midrash says, it's like a shepherd looking after his flock. Wolves attacked them. Afterwards, the shepherd counted his flock to know how many had survived. Rav Soloveitchik taught from here that through Jewish history, we go through two phases when it comes to conflicts, when it comes to attempts to annihilate us. First of all, we count those who are missing. And afterwards, we count those who have survived. Right now, we're going through that first phase. We are counting those who are missing. We are hearing reports, hour on hour, more and more. People who have been mercilessly killed, the number now seems to have exceeded 1,000, with many thousands who have been injured with over 130 innocent, pure-hearted men, women and children, some elderly, some tiny, who have been dragged from their homes, paraded in streets, and who are now being held as hostage. And we don't know where some people are. We're counting the missing. But says Rav Soloveitchik, we will emerge into the next phase. And in the next phase in Jewish history, we start to count those who have survived. We look to the strength that we have for the sake of the future. As we say at the Seder of Pesach, in every generation there are those who strive to annihilate the Jewish people. But Almighty God always saves us. We prevail. And once we start to count those who have survived, we draw our inspiration from those who went missing and those who were killed. And we guarantee that the forces of light will always prevail over the forces of darkness. And peace will prevail against every possible enemy. Israel today is strong. Yes, Israel has gone through numerous trials 
during the past year. But Israel is strong, and Israel is all the more strong because the Jewish world is with Israel. And so many others in the world are with us at this time. There is no doubt, even though we still will face added trauma, and God forbid, may it not be deep, we will nonetheless emerge and we will be strong to face many more years. This Shabbat we read from the beginning of the Torah. And in the biblical account of creation, we see how the world at first was bathed in darkness, but out of that God created light. We see how at first the world was filled with tahu vavahu, chaos, confusion, but that was followed by order and peace. And that tonight is our prayer, that the darkness we are currently experiencing will pave the way for peace for us and the entire region. And the chaos and confusion will lead to a period of order and of peace. May it happen swiftly and decisively and successfully, not only for now, but also for the long term. Ose shalom bim romav, hu yase shalom aleinu, va'al kol Yisrael, ve'imeru, amen. May he who makes peace in high places bring peace for us and all the people of Israel, and let us say, Amen. It is now my great honor, on behalf of everyone present, to invite the Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Rishi Sunak, to address us. I wanted to come here tonight to stand with you, to stand with you in this hour of grief as we mourn the victims of an utterly abhorrent act of terror, to stand with you in this hour of prayer as we think of those held hostage and your friends and loved ones taking refuge in bomb shelters or risking their lives on the front line. And perhaps above all, I wanted to come here tonight to stand with you in solidarity, in Israel's hour of need. As the Prime Minister of this country, I am unequivocal. The people who support Hamas are fully responsible for this appalling attack. They are not militants. They are not freedom fighters. They are terrorists. Their barbaric acts are acts of evil. There is no other word to describe what we have seen. Teenagers at a festival of peace, gunned down in cold blood. Innocent men, women and children, abducted, raped, slaughtered. Even a Holocaust survivor taken away as a captive. And much of this sickening evidence posted online. There are not two sides to these events. There is no question of balance. I stand with Israel. We stand with Israel. The United Kingdom 
stands with Israel against this terrorism today, tomorrow, and always. And let me also say this to you, as the Jewish community here in Britain. I know that at moments like this, when the Jewish people are under attack in their homeland, Jewish people everywhere can feel less safe. We've already seen vile words on our streets and attempts to stir up community tensions. I say, not here. Not in Britain. Not in our country. Not in this century. My first duty is to protect you. We will not tolerate this hate. We will not tolerate this anti-Semitism. And I promise you, I will stop at nothing to keep you safe. And let me just conclude with this thought. In the last few days, we have seen heinous acts, redolent of the worst of humanity. And peace may feel further away than it has in a very long time. But I know this too. The hope of Israel is built on the very best of humanity. This extraordinary land, this democracy, the only one in the Middle East where you can vote, where you can be gay, this technological superpower which delivers breakthroughs in science and medicine that are a gift to the world, this promised homeland of the Jewish people. In the words of the Hatikva, that hope is not lost. Even in these darkest of days, perhaps especially in these darkest of days, Together we hold fast to that hope of 2,000 years. The days and weeks ahead will continue to be very difficult. But when we say that we stand with Israel, we mean it. Not just today, not just tomorrow, but always. And I will stand with you, the British Jewish community. Not just today, not just tomorrow, but always. Am Yisrael Chayim.